so we're just getting all set up. Thank you for joining. So, hey guys, so today um, is Witness Wednesday, of course, of course. I'm super, super, super excited for today. Um, hello, hello. Alright, I'm super excited for today. Today is going to be Poetry with Marcus T and I. Um, so before we get started, I just want to remind you guys of what Witness Wednesday is. So Witness Wednesday is a time where we just bring all of our gifts um, to get to here for God's glory, however he wants to utilize us. We don't want to put God in a box, but allow him to use us in any capacity he chooses to. And you guys, excuse me, I'm a little nasally today. Um, my allergies are pretty bad today, so ignore that. All right. Um, but yeah, so today is going to be poetry with Marcus T and I, he's going to be up here shortly. Um, and last week we had mime, I didn't mime, and we have more to come. We're not going to stop here. We're working on the schedule for next month. I'm super, super excited to continue doing this and continue to do what God has called me to do and each and every one of you guys to do and bring more people on here. Um, so that's really, 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 really exciting. All right anybody else excited excited for what's next what's next for november and november is my birthday month so i'm really excited about that but anybody excited for what's next in november i got a thumbs up hey bro oh man this thing is another thumb I'm happy to hear that me too me too me too and that schedule for next month we'll get really soon hey bro how are you <laughs> what <laughs> no I'm, I'm good I'm good I'm excited can you hear me yeah I can hear you Hold on. good I have, I have you on a new tripod setup so I gotta make sure that it works okay yeah, but um, I'm I'm good. I'm not excited about this poem, to say the least. <laughs> but I am excited nonetheless. Yeah, God has been doing great things here today, mm -hmm. and I promise you, I'm not preaching today. Okay. <laughs> and it, I already told them, but bro, excuse my voice. I'm really nasally. Allergies are terrible today, but we're gonna push through. Okay. So, you guys, y'all know the official Marcus T, um, that guy. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> make sure you definitely go follow him on his YouTube channels. He's an uh, awesome man of God um, who speaks the truth and speaks what thus says the Lord. Um, really, really powerful. He's a prayer warrior, but I don't know if he's going to be happy if I tell you that. But he's a prayer warrior, and, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, is there anything you would like to say before we get started? Um, no, I'm just... <laughs> He's starting already. I'm, I'm just excited for you in, in this venture here, or this journey, I should say, um, as you dive in with your giftings and exploring giftings with everybody around you. It, it's an amazing thing to understand that the giftings doesn't just start and stop with ministry itself. Yeah. Right. Or oh, I'm sorry for the formality of ministry itself here, because truth be told, ain't nothing formal about this here. No, not at all. Right. Amen. And that's the blessing about it. See, mm -hmm. we're, we're coming a different wave, a different shift, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to ministry. Um, and I've learned that over the years. I've only been preaching for what, maybe about two years or so, officially, as they say. But God has been with me every step of the way from 92 until now. And it continue to be with me. Guys, before y'all call me old, please don't do that. That's just really mean. But um, you to make the joke. It's like, go make the joke. It's all right. You pushing 30 yourself there, Miss um, Janet. You pushing 30 yourself. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it, it's a blessing nonetheless to be able to uh, share my gifts and and to be um, a company with you while we tap into something great together. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, alignment. Yeah. I'll say that alignment is now. Yeah. We're not preaching Amen. today. We're we, we going to read this poem. We're not going to preach today. Um, <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. So you guys, um just want to introduce the poem. Honestly, I don't really remember writing this. And I'm going to just keep it under with y'all. Literally, like, I want to say probably like August, July, I was going through some of my things. And I came across this poem. And I'm reading it. I'm like, oh, this is great. Like, when did we write this? And then at the end it says, sign with sincerity, John A. L. and Marcus and M. Thomas. I was like, we wrote this. And I sent it to him, took pictures of it, and sent it to him. I'm like, do you remember this? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, this would be a really great poem to share on here. Um, and we wrote another piece together before, and that's posted on my channel as well. And that was uh, called A Trip Back in Time. And this one's called Dear Society. And I think this one is really great for, like, these times today, the, the times that we're in today. Um, so I wanted us to come to you guys and share this poem with y'all. So it's called Dear Society. So fun fact, guys, about this poem, guys, please, I want y'all to hear this. All right, hear this when I say, um, we both do not remember writing this poem here. Um, but if I can recall, when when we came up with the concept, Miss Jane said to me that if you could just fill in the gaps, we can we can do something great here. And as I'm looking at this breakdown of this poem here, she said the highlights back to me, guys. Um, it's like, yeah, I, these aren't gap fillers here. This is a, a seven page poem. It feels like <laughs> it's pretty pretty long. I don't, I don't understand how people write so much, but we do. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I do remember writing. I remember writing this here because I was like. What are these words? She was throwing big words at me. I was like, yeah, this is not the time for big words. I've been out of school for some time. Big <laughs> words when I, when, I, when I graduated. But um, yeah. Yeah. And the amazing thing about poetry, like when you go back or like any form of writing or, yeah. When you go back and you read it, you're like, oh, okay, I remember where I was. Like, even if you don't remember writing it, you can tell like what period of your life you were in by the words that you utilized. So I thought that was really amazing. Cause I look back, I'm like, oh yeah, yep, that worked. We said that a lot in class. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was in grad school then. <laughs> so I yeah. think that's really cool. Like when it comes to like writing, you ready, that's, bro? That's the beauty of it all. I'm, I'm, I, I'm always ready to, to dive into some poetry here, but I kind of want you to read this whole thing by yourself. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. But. I'll be a, I'll be a team player today, and, and we'll do what we agreed on, okay, and we'll talk perfect. about it after. We'll talk about it after. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, my setup's a bit different. I'm trying to. I'm trying, you guys, please bear with me. So we have a little technical difficulties. My laptop's acting really disrespectful this morning. He has switched the tablet more by itself. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't understand it, right? So, right, so, dear society, yes, this poem here. <clears throat> dear society, hi. I've been meaning to have this fun conversation with you for some time now. First, let me say this. I dislike you. Not you as in a whole, but the you that says I look better with a filter. Now, I'm not talking about those filters we use on Instagram or Snapchat, but those filters that you require me to put on my life so that you can feel comfortable. The you that says if my life isn't displayed in a black and white portrait, I have to get labeled just because of the little splash of red. You see, you put this price tag on my life and tried to take credit as if you thought you created me to be sold at auction. But wait, see, the credit doesn't go to you, but to he who is actually bruised, pleading in sweat and blood, who strives boldly, who comes short again and again, but who knows the great enthusiasms and devotions, painting imagery of his self-worth only because you set the bar too low. When you encourage me to take part in reckless behavior, to seize the moment, because I only live once, you know, YOLO, decreases my fondness of you too. I may be young and free, but wild ain't for me. 
when I try to live according to what you deem as my best life, I wind up empty, lost, confused, and unable to discern authentic happiness. No thanks. I will gladly take the label of outcast with the unpopular opinion for the sake of my sanity, well-being, and soul with hope that one day you will too. And please help me understand why I have to process and treat my hair with chemicals to make it look professional when others can wear their hair exactly how it grows out of their head without anyone labeling or, judge or judging them. In society, please tell me why you give me the label of overweight when using a chart that was developed for people with a completely different body structure than mine. And why do you make it seem like I have to trade either self-respect, a moral, or a value for companionship? Or why I fit the description of the suspect based on the color of my skin. Please explain to me why we still have cliche double standards with men and women. And while we are discussing societal differences involving men and women that are completely unrelated to differences in abilities due to biological makeup, why are women still getting paid less than men? Help me understand why. Why does my friend get looked down upon just because you can't pronounce her name? <laughs> or why does he become less than because of the way he speaks? Or why we are stamped with our failures but minimalized with our achievements? Foolish enough to even want the great weight. No better yet tell me how you can have the audacity to look at me in my face and call me friend. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. But my friend, society says I can't do that in public because it's not politically correct. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under weight. We can't say that here. We're censored. So I choose to censor you with your speech, your dress, your mind. Now tell me how it feels. And we all agree that we are flawed, imperfect, and under construction. And yet, because I consider myself to be a believer and a Christian, you decide, society, I'm exempt from the flaws deriving from human nature. Then when I make a mistake and any other believers, when I make a mistake and any other believers, we are hypocrites and the religion is a joke. Now, you parade me through the streets waving a bloodstained banner that's not of my home and yet I still refuse to worship you, pause. Let's play a game. Truth or dare, I'll pick for you. Dare, I dare you. I dare you to get high <laughs> on hopes. Hopes that shatter a record of living. I dare you to tell a lie only to make yourself choke on the truth. <clears throat> your turn, I'll wait. Give me your best shot. Put me down, step on my neck and say I need to conform to fit into that space. Hear ye, hear ye, gather round. I'm perfect in my imperfections. I cannot conform with my identity because that mold was created for me. You say that life gives you the test and then the lesson, but as a child, I saw Tarzan naked. Cinderella arrived home after midnight. Pinocchio told lies. Aladdin was a thief. Batman drove over 200 miles an hour. Snow White lived in a house with seven men. And Popeye smoked a pipe and had tattoos. Pac-Man ran around to digital news while eating pills to enhance his performance, and Shaggy and Scooby were mystery-solving hippies that always had the munchies. <laughs> Is it my fault if I failed? You see, society, I wish, I, I, I wish, I wish we knew your favorite color. The only one of God's many crayons that gets you to sit up straighter. I'll do me. You do you. Let's see who wins. Sign with sincerity. John A. L. and Marcus T. Amen. Amen. I love this. That was so good. This poem never gets old. How do you feel, bro? I'm winded, to say the least. <laughs> I feel like it, it got me all riled up, really. Like, I feel like it brought me back to the day. Like, I didn't, don't remember reading it I mean writing it but like reading it through like both of us reading it through I'm like oh yeah I remember the emotion behind some of this stuff so thank you I had a couple I had a couple when we read this so I put the arm of the chair down I was like if I lean in I'm gonna tip over everything right here um but I I I, I can't say that I can tap into the emotion behind this piece anymore um and I'll tell you why I'll tell you why uh when we wrote it my mind was in 50 million in two places. 
50 million to two, not one, but two places. <laughs> so to, to tap into these pieces here, it took me back to a place that I did not want to go to, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because the, the piece of this poem here we wrote about, um, what did it say here? Uh, put me down and step on my neck, right? What just happened, right? Which, it, yeah. And it's funny how we were able to tap into that then. Yeah. yeah. Right? And, and and even the parts where we break down the imagery with Tarzan and Cinderella, Batman, Batman was balling through the streets, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then society looks at us and say, well, you can't do that. But you showed us we could, mm -hmm. right? You showed us we yeah. could. And, and I think that's why I, 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 I chose to say yes to doing this poem with you here. You know, I had to sit on it. I prayed for for a couple of days, and I was like, yeah, "I don't know if I'm gonna do this here." But God was like, "It's time for something such as this here to be said." Yeah. And it was gonna come in the, the, the traditional form of ministry. That's why I write. That's exactly why I write. You know, and it's funny. I think I see my cousin just joined this. this just joined too as well. Um, I don't know if she's still on it. You know, I hate this thing old thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's. It's, it's the amazing thing what we did here, in my humblest of opinion, is we spoke truth to what we see in our own, I hate this term, but generation. Yeah. We're looked down upon because we have the tattoos. And, and truthfully, I laughed at the part about not pronouncing our friend's name because when I wrote that, I was thinking about you. I couldn't pronounce your name to save, to save my soul. Mm -hmm. You were Johnny for the longest in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I literally saved your name in my phone as John A. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, this is wrong, but this is how I'm going to pronounce it. This is how I want to be for some time. But you look at that and say, why should my name hinder me from walking through, walking through this door? Mm -hmm. Why should the tattoo on my finger, right, hinder me from shaking your hand? Or, or, or the forearm piece that I have. Right, that motivates me to keep pushing through the day. Vinny Vidi Vici, I came, I saw, I conquered. That's my motivation to keep going. So why should it why why should it affect your you in in a in a, in a sense of uh looking at me different or putting me in this box of confinement? You know, I, I broke this box a long time ago. I don't plan to go back no time soon. That's why I work for myself. Yeah. You know. Amen. Um, but yeah, it's poetry does that for me. It truly does. Um and I know you said you're not a poet, but I think I think that the viewers beg to differ here with, with that one there. And I'm quite certain somebody's gonna comment and then they say, yeah, they agree with what I'm saying. I pray that somebody backs me up and says that they agree with what I'm saying here. Because in you, uh, we, we think that poetry is this formal or this formal thing of, of creativity or it has uh, um, rules to follow. You know, I, I see, I see, boom. I got to come on, won't he do it? Got to make him, won't he do it? Yes, he will, right? But, you know, it's, I, I spoke with, with a, another writer the other day, um, a young lady I've been writing with for some time. I met her at church, um, Whitney. She reached out. She'd be like, uh, she wants to start writing with me again. I say, time and place, time and place. Um, and we had a conversation some years ago before I got on my, I got my new car. I'm back there. Over there somewhere. You see it over there somewhere? Yeah. The walker back there in the corner. Yes. Same time out, right? You mean you mean you mean pivot the camera for you can see it back there. You can see it there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Before I got my new vehicle, we uh, had a conversation about poetry, and um, she was telling me that she writes exactly what she feels, and <laughs> it was so. Oh, God bless you. Thank my, you. My, sorry. God, Jesus, I saw your head go boom. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, my God, my God, yeah. But she she was explaining to me that. Um, she writes exactly how she feels. And I was like, it's nothing. That's what, what, that's what poetry is. It's a feeling. You tap into an emotion. Mm -hmm. And it's no wrong or right way of doing it. There's no perfect poem. No perfect poem. Right. There would never be a perfect poem. Right. Langston Hughes would tell you himself if he was still here. There's no such thing as a perfect poem. Mm -hmm. Emily Dickinson wrote about death. And Alan Poe wrote about love that equated to death. Mm -hmm. Langston Hughes wrote about the Renaissance. My Angelou wrote about empowerment. Those were perceptions of, of, of from them. Yeah. You know, now I'm throw you back. I'm going to pull back in ministry for a second. We're going to go to me. We might preach today. Right. But and, and we go back biblically. Perception is what you make it. The, 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 if I'm not mistaken, it says you have to discern the word to your, your own accord. I, Alita told me that once before and I didn't know what it meant. 
Um, see, because you read the King James version and it's translated different from the NIV version. I know you don't read them. I'm, I'm just an example, all right? Example. But it, it translates different from the NIV version. NIV, the NIV translates different from the Message Bible, right? Same with poetry. Same way with poetry, right? You want to go deep, yeah. you can push in the Psalms. What, what are Psalms? The Psalms, the whole book, were originally a book of poems mm -hmm. that were converted into music, mm -hmm. right? You put, put a band behind it, you can into I can take this, put, put a bass line to it. We have a whole whole mixtape right quick, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you know, and that's that's how I look at, at, at poetry when I write. I, I hear the music, I hear the melody. I just put it on paper, I let the pen dance on the page, right? Let the pen dance. Yeah, you know my notebook. You know, I keep it, I always keep it somewhere close by. My inspiration is always somewhere close by. Empty Wait, is pages. The blank one? Yep. Yes. It's nothing in this book. Not a thing in this book. This is my inspiration. Blank pages. Yeah. I let the pen dance. And I, I just let it do it. I let God I literally let God say. Um, I let God move in, in a way that I have to remove myself from it. Because if I put Marcus T in the book. There's some cartoon pictures in there, yeah. every page, a couple words, you know, but that's just me. I don't know none. I don't know too much about anything, but that's just me. No, that that makes sense though. It really does. It's really cool. It's really cool, like hearing like your perspective of like poetry and everything. I'm not a poet or anything, but like I really enjoy. <laughs> See, I slid that in there. Um, <laughs> I, I really enjoy like uh, reading poetry and like, oh my gosh, like people who have like creative minds like you, because some of the the not some of the things, but the things that you write, I'm like, wow, like I've never looked at it that way. So like you're very, like you're absolutely right. Like it's a bunch of different perspectives, and there's no one way to do poetry. I'm like, wow, like this really has me thinking, like. I've always looked at this from like a surface level perspective, but oh my gosh, like the part where he was reading and he wrote the part about Tarzan and Cinderella and Aladdin. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I was like mind blown, like reading over that, like, wow, you're so right. Like, oh my gosh. So yes, I really enjoyed this piece. I really enjoyed doing this piece with you. Um I, I I love this piece, honestly. It is perfect for the times today. And I'm also, um, and also you guys, you know, shameless plug. Um, don't forget to purchase your book. Come on, you have it, I know. There we go. Love in the eyes of the author. A collection of spoken word pieces, okay? So make sure you guys po uh, purchase this book. It's available on Amazon. I'm definitely going to put the link in the description of this. Um, and we're excited for the next book that's coming out because there is another book that is coming. There's another one that's coming out, and we're really, really excited. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. No, no. I never agreed to another book coming out. I never so did. We're really excited for all the future books that he has coming. We're really excited for that. Make sure, again, that you... Um, Subscribe to his YouTube channel. You're going to get more poetry, more uh, more spoken word. Um, and I believe he has a video releasing today, no? Yeah? At 2 o'clock. I, I believe it drops at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Uh, We're excited for that yeah. one. I'm not. I'm not. I don't like it. I can't stand it. I don't. I looked at it again this morning. I don't like it. Um, I, I don't like uh, be transparent as a, as a, as a writer. Um, I don't like to jump. You said I don't like jump? to jump. I don't like to jump. Yeah, um, and by, by that I mean I don't like to um, to uh, um, go into unfamiliar places all the time. Okay. Um, so for the past couple of months, as you, you know, I've been tapping to another side of, of, of writing, which is spoken word. If you know me, you know I cannot stand spoken word. If I can't see it, I don't want it, right? Spoken word, especially a freestyle spoken word. I don't freestyle. I don't like spoken word. You know, um, I like free form, free verse poetry. But recently, it's been freestyle spoken word pieces. Um, and and this, God bless you. God bless you. We need to declare it that, that uh that 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 uh, mucinex stuff and get all that stuff about you that's the thing up in there you know um but uh but yeah i've been tapping into that a little bit lately 
especially with this piece here. This piece here is entitled, um, which was weird because it was it had a whole title before, before I did the spoken word, before I did the freestyle. But until I finished, I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work for me. Um, it was, <laughs> not gonna work. It, it went out the window like kaput. Um, it was literally postman about my hat, really postman about my hat. Um, um, but uh, as I started going, I, I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work because I'm I'm talking to the cameras I'm recording this piece. Um, I was like, yeah, this the title has to change. So by the time I got to the eight minute mark of the poem, I think it's about eight minutes. I think, mm-hmm. yeah, um, it was the title switched from. Um, I am not my hair. I'm not the hair under my hat. To because um, I remember New Journey, New Hair Journey, right? So I was trying something different, right? Uh-huh. But it switched to um, Little Black Boy. Mm. Black Boy, and I uh, and I'm quite certain God had a reason for it. And I'm like, just let me do me, God. Sometimes it's <laughs> six feet, God. Feet, no coronavirus, six feet, you know. But I have to be obedient and move how He says move. Um, like I told you um, yesterday, He told me to loose my tongue, so. Yeah. So if you guys hear me cussing one of the poems, forgive me, poetic expression. I'm not a cusser. I'm just a young man of God. I'm fi- I'm filled with the fire and brimstone of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just ruthless when it comes to it. You know, I, I can say I'm I'm a bit radical as, mm-hmm. as the old as the old testament saints would call it. I'm mm-hmm. radical. Forgive me if you have, forgive me if some Old Testament saints are on this uh, live right now, but I, I don't apologize for it. But forgive me if I hurt your feelings in any slightest way. But yeah, but the channel is doing great things, guys, and I thank you for being a an avid supporter of Life and Poetry with Marcus T. Mm-hmm. This guy, um, if the brand, the, the the brand in entirety, and the merch will come out soon, guys, and I will make sure you guys know about about it as well here. Um, as well, guys. All guys, be able to look out for Jane's own poem dropping on the Poetry Corner with Marcus T on one of these Wednesdays that comes about. It won't be this Wednesday, which is today, because I dropped my piece today. It may be next week. I don't know just yet, right? Because this is this month ain't really over with. Well, actually, this month is over with. Yeah, the month's over with. So maybe about the, the first week of November. No, I'm I got I got stuff to do in the first week. So maybe the second, third week of November. Um, Johnny is going to drop a poem on the poetry corner, guys. Her own personal freestyle. We That's going to be. She just agreed to it in the spirit. She don't know it just yet, guys. She just agreed to it in the spirit. My God, um, won't he do it? Yes, he will. He speaks to me ever so clear these days. Um, but I'm also reaching out to other uh, artists, other poets, other writers who want to display their work on the channel. I'm gonna give you guys the platform to do so. Um, just send me your your work, and I will um, upload it to the channel, and we go from there. Um, <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> That's, that's gonna be amazing. Let let loose your tongue. I'm gonna tell you what God told me. Let loose your tongue. Even if you preach, do your do do your spoken word, do your poem, do what you have to do. But it's in you. It's in you to do so. Amen. Somebody give me an amen. Give me a hard amen. Somebody give me a hard amen. Cause she she she's fighting it so bad right there. She's fighting it so bad. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm gonna reach out to I, I'm gonna reach out to a few other writers as well. Um, I know. Uh, um, see, amen. Won't he do it? Oh, um, yeah. Um, but yes, I have a few, a few, few things coming to the channel. Uh, be on the lookout, guys. Just support and be there. And I'll make sure I do you, you guys justice. If you send me any work that you want to display, if you're recording it yourself, I don't want to put my mouth on your pieces um, unless you ask me to. But primarily, I want you guys to do it. I want to do something different with this thing here because this is my ministry. But we're not going to preach today because I'll be, I'll be here for about three hours. We start preaching. We're not going to do that today. <laughs> I may preach enough yesterday when I called her to ask about a poem that we wrote, which is this one here. Um, but I'm excited for you, woman of God. I almost called you ministry. Um, it, it almost slipped. I'm not going <laughs> to <I> almost slipped. <laughs> yes, me too. And I'm excited for you as well. And um, yeah, we'll talk more about this poem thing. But um, <laughs> um yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I just want to encourage you guys to continue to go forth and do what it is that God called you to do. Even if other people aren't doing it, if it's what God called you to do, do it. Like God doesn't work one way. This is what this platform is all about. God isn't in a box. He doesn't do things one way. He does things different ways. Different people have different ministries. You see it all through the Bible. Even though the Bible is 
put together where like you know there's a book here and it's talking about this story and a book here and it's talking about that story if you get a chronological one some of these things are going at the same time so it's in they're doing they have different ministry doing different things at the same time in different areas so i just wanted to highlight that make sure just just go forth on what it is god's telling you to do um boldly without fear and um, uh, um allow him to be a strength through it because he he's going to guide you he's going to be a strength through it he's going to help you through it and if he calls you to do it then it's going to be successful in him amen perfectly flawed i love it yes perfectly flawed we are perfectly flawed okay yeah. All right. Well, I don't have anything else to say. Do you have anything else to say before we close, before we head out? No. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Just guys, go through, go do great things today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Somebody, somebody might say, how can I do it yesterday? Well, guess what? Today is in place so you can correct what you did wrong yesterday. I look at it that way. I have to. I have to look at things a bit different these days. But go be great and remember, as, as, as the brand says, perfectly flawed. I understand that you don't have to be perfect to inspire anybody. Um, just be yourself. Continue to move in who you are. Mm -hmm. Your identity in Christ is greater than that, is, that which is in the world. See, the world doesn't understand you like, like your father does. Yeah. And, and you'll get to that place of understanding that when you open your mouth, Things will move, line up, mm -hmm. fall apart, mm -hmm. come together boldly and boastfully. Continue to walk with Christ. Yeah. I'm a full man. I've been preaching for too long. It's ridiculous. Continue to walk with Christ and do what you got to do, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be great. Another yeah. friend of mine, wow, Augie. What up, August? Um, but yeah, it's going to be a great thing. Yes, August. Don't nobody call me. You can't call me that online, August. That's a personal name, August. Gosh, <laughs> right? But um, yes, guys, be bold. Be bold in Christ as you can need to walk with Him and tap into these giftings. That's what Johnny is doing here. You, she's allowing you guys to tap into something great here. Your giftings go beyond just the four walls of the church house. Because remember, the church is in you. You go with it. The, the church goes where you go. Mm -hmm. um, so Go to the grocery store <clears throat> and get that family size box of cotton crunch with just the berries. The church going with you. Amen. It's going right there with you. And and so on and so forth. But just understand that. You don't have to be perfect to inspire others. Not at all. Not one bit. Not one bit do you have to be perfect to inspire others. Amen. Amen. So yeah. But yeah, that's all. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us on this Witness Wednesday. Again, November schedule will be coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Follow both of us, I mean, subscribe to both of our YouTube channels. Uh, follow uh, Marcus's page on Instagram, the official Marcus T. And um, I'll see you guys again next week here at 12 p.m. All right. Bye, guys.